Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. It's been, again, a little while since I filmed. It's a little bit unusual now because I am filming just once a week and if I can get in two videos in one day, then I do that. So sometimes I'm filming once every two weeks. So I think the last time I filmed was a little over a week ago. So it's been nice having this schedule of just, um, of just one video a week. It was way too much for me before. So um, thank you for sticking around and um, continuing to watch all of my videos, even though I'm not um, on YouTube as regularly as I was before. Um, so today's video, um, one thing is I'm gonna try and look at the, the camera the whole time because I noticed in my last video I kept looking away and even for myself it was like very distracting so I'm going to try and um, stay focused on the lens of the camera even though it's kind of strange to be talking to a lens I guess I will get used to it so I'm going to do my best um, to uh, stay focused. Uh, so today's video is going to be my intro video to the Finish 6 by Christmas Project Pan Challenge and I've chosen six products and I'm going to um, show them to you and let you know kind of what um, I hope to achieve in the next three months. So let's jump into what I've picked out. Okay, so the first product that I've chosen is from the Too Faced Matte Eye Palette and if you follow my pan that palette uh, videos um, and updates, then you know that in my Sephora Z palette is basically all of the shadows from the Too Faced Matte Eye palette except for one, and that is this shade here. It's a, a white matte shade. I can't remember the name right now, but I thought it was like Bunny or Velveteen Bunny or something like that. Um, so what I've been, what I do use this shade as is, um, like a powder, a face powder, and it's almost a translucent powder because it doesn't really show up that white um, on my face. I can, this is, that's what it looks like when I just did a swatch, but it really doesn't look like that. See how easily that blended into my, my hand? So I use this um, to um, make my face look matte and my goal for this um, I like to say that my goal for this is to finish it up which it is but my last um, project pan which is the finish five by fall I feel like I I set uh, too high of a standard for myself and my goals were not achievable so my goal I'm going to say with this product is to hit pan on it and then if I do finish it up that will just be a bonus but that is um, the goal for this first product the second product that I want to try to use up is from Mac and it is a strobe cream and this I got not that long ago I had placed an order online because it was I think by $75 and get $15 off or something like that and I had bought a lipstick and a under eye concealer and so then I got this as a sample and I want to I want to use it so I'm thinking this is it here and what I'm thinking so you can see there it, it is pretty uh translucent as well it just I think gives like um a sheen or kind of like an, a glow so my plan with this is to add it to my foundation and it's just six milliliters so I'm hoping to use this up it is um, completely full right now but it's quite small so I think I have a good chance of finishing that my next product is from Garnier and it is the skin renew anti anti puff eye roller it looks like this and this product I bought a few months ago probably four or five months ago and what I use it for is in the morning instead of using an under eye cream I use this when I wake up so it is like an instant wake up under my eyes it, the little roller ball at the end here feels so nice and cool on my eyes in the morning and it really wakes me up there is I think this is why I bought this is because there was caffeine in it so it's like waking up in the morning which I definitely need so right now I don't know exactly I think I'm like about here like I have all of this product left and the reason why I'm putting this in my project pan is because it is a product where it is near my eyes I'm you know getting bacteria in there and actually I just held it up to the light yeah I'm right here 
So I'm going to mark that and then next time um, I will have that set up so then you can see the difference between my intro and then my first update. Um, but um, yeah, I want to use this up because it is something that is going in my eye area and I don't want to have it forever collecting germs. So, oops, my next product, oh, keep dropping it. Okay, my next product is from e.l.f. and it is called the Hyper Shine Lip Gloss. I did an e.l.f. haul a little while ago and I had got a pack of three of these uh, lip glosses and I really like them and I just thought that now would be the perfect time to use up this reddish um, kind of watermelon color lip gloss and I used the last one I've used up one out of the pack of three that I had and uh, it went really quickly so I'm thinking I won't have a problem um, with using that up my next item you will have seen before if you've seen my other videos, especially my Finish 5 by Fall, and it is the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion. So I did have this in my Finish 5 by Fall, and I am just throwing it back into this challenge um, because I just, I need to use this up and I won't use it unless I throw it in one of these challenges. So my goal for this eyeliner is to get down to uh, where the writing starts on the pencil, which I feel like is a pretty um, reasonable goal. Um, you know, and then if I do better than that, great. But I really, you know, I've had this now for, I think, at least three years, if not longer. And I, you know, it was expensive and I really like this product. I don't want it to go bad. Um, so I'm throwing it back in here and I'm hoping that I can keep using this up. And then the last product that I have keeps falling on me. This is what I have on my lips today. It is the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in the color Lovecraft. This is a gorgeous color for fall. And I have it in a little mini. I got this as a 100 point perk at Sephora. And I really like this color. It's perfect for fall. Um, I've been wearing it quite a bit. It kind of reminds me of the Viva Glam 2, but it's a little bit more pinkish um, and not um, so much brown and beige. Um, so yeah, I am hoping to use this up completely. I mean, it's just a mini size. And then here is where I am right now. So that is it. Those are the six products that I have picked out for the finished six by Christmas. I will most likely be filming one update every month just because I'm only doing four videos a month now and I have some other um, things that I want to film like empties videos and then my pan that palette update and things like that. So that is the plan. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you are doing a finish six by Christmas, leave a comment down below and I would love to check it out. Um, I hope that you're all having a great day and I will see you next week probably for um, an update to my project polish. Um, so until then, take care. Bye.